All right, YouTube, 106 Falconer, back with another freaking exciting video. This time it's not about a Volkswagen. My new saw, my new Shindewa 591, freaking awesome rig. Um, <coughs> I haven't even uh, gone to a, through a half tank of fuel in it yet. But <coughs> what I want to talk about is this uh, the steel 2-in-1 sharpening system. These freaking things are awesome, man. Um, I know there's a bunch of videos out there about them, but I just wanted to add my two cents. Um, I've been rocking this uh, four millimeter. This is the uh, three eighths P, the Pico, Pico, whatever the hell they, they call it. This one here uh, works on, on my uh, MSA 220C, my steel MSA 220C battery saw. It also works on my old pool and gas jobber and my Harbor Freight Lynx battery chainsaw. And it freaking does. It has that Lynx chainsaw uh, cutting awesome. I mean, it just rips right through pallets and stuff. I mean, no problems. Zoom. So when I got this saw, I had to step up to the 5.2 millimeter. Um, and I'm just taking it for a run today here this morning because it's been a couple weeks since I've had this baby in some wood. So I'm hoping today to get out and and uh, and, and start freaking cutting some wood. Um, so I figured I'd uh, give the chain a little sharpen, even though I haven't even ran a full tank of fuel through here yet. So I'll show you. I've already done the teeth going this way. And now I've, I've always been just a, a hobbyist saw man. Um, I just get a little more serious into it now that we got all this ash and shit. And I'm going to, you know, jump on the firewood bandwagon. Um, but you can see with like i say with with a half tank of fuel ran this this uh sharpening system i never knew about the depth gauges or rakers whatever you want to call them um, i've tried dremel sharpeners just regular files the harbor freight chainsaw sharpener and you know all they do is, is hit your teeth well this thing i'll show you you can see here how it's already hitting the uh the depth gauge the rakers whatever you want to call them this i haven't gone this way yet so you can see they haven't been touched yet but the um all these ones have so let me uh get the camera on a tripod and i'll show you how easy it is i'll be back all right so when i first went to use uh the other when i first got one of these two-in-ones they got they got a little pictograph on here to show you the alignment of the tool to the saw and it, it was it was confusing the shit out of me because this one here you run this way and then when you go the other way you turn you turn this over and so so that your your round file is on the teeth and your and your rectangular file is on your depth gauges rakers but it was uh it actually had to had me freaking confused as shit for a while anyway so i mean she got the the lines there for your proper angle which will line up perfect with the with the laser marks on the chain itself um i do uh, i just do four four strokes in one direction um and basically see here this one hasn't been touched yet so we'll just Easy as that. You see how this one, it barely touched that depth gauge. Some of the depth gauges, it gets more than others. Um, plus, that didn't feel like it was cutting in very good. But then I just take a little magnet here and stick it on there. And then I just go on about my bitterness here. Some of the some of the teeth, you'll find it'll bite in more than others. And there we go, blam. Boy, this side is barely touching the depth gauge. On the other side, it was it was really touching them. Wow, that's weird. Because going this way, man, it was really biting in.
But that's it, man. Puts that nice little cat claw. There, that one took that one down a little bit more. that one more um, prices are all over the place in this thing you can get them on eBay for like 22 bucks I don't know if they're Chinese knockoffs or not um, if you buy from a steel dealer they're $35.99 um, we have uh, if you go to runnings they're uh, 29 95 at runnings so you just got to shop around but i'll tell you what man whatever you pay for them they're they're freaking they're freaking worth the money man this thing it can an amateur like me can sharpen a freaking saw blade have it like new man um yeah that one's biting in a little more Yeah, this thing, like I say, by far is the is the easiest, best sharpener I've ever used that that actually works. See, I'd have the problem sharpening the blade. I'd never I'd never touch these depth gauges. So you'd get it sharpened like with a Dremel, and it still wouldn't cut worth a shit, you know. Um, so, but using this thing, man, alive. It's it's like a brand new blade every time you sharpen it. So, or brand new chain. And just like that, see, I'm already back to my magnet, so done. It took that one down pretty good. So let's see here. Let me get the camera out of the out of the holder here. All right, so there you see. You can definitely see how teeth going this way, you hit them depth gauges a lot harder than coming this way. I don't know, I don't know why that is, but um, I mean, look at this one here. I mean, I barely even touched that one. But, obviously, um, it hit that one pretty good. Barely touched this one. So, obviously, there's some discrepancy in the height of these right from the factory. So, this one here, again, barely touched it. So, all right, well, that's it, man. The uh, steel two-in-one sharpening system. Get it. All right, that's it. See ya, bitches.